Y seams. Why do we call them Y seams? Hmm, I think you can probably see why. These are very exciting um, if you do them right and you're gonna do them right because we're gonna do them together. So I'm gonna take this example away. This is what our finished example is gonna look like. Okay, to sew your Y seams for the star cross pattern, you need a ruler, a rotary cutter, a marking tool, and pins. Make sure that your ruler has a quarter inch mark on it because you're gonna be using that quite a bit. Okay, so already I've taken my two 45 degree cut strip units and I have lined them up the squatty side together and I marked a quarter inch. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see. Let's get right in there. Okay, I marked a quarter inch from this little corner. Okay, I marked it really nice and dark all the way across my seam, just like this, so that I could clearly see it at my sewing machine. Once I got to this mark, I backstitched a few stitches and then forward, so that area is nice and secure. Okay, now that I have my quarter inch seam, just like so, I'm gonna zoom out and I am going to um, fold it in half. Okay, just like this. And then I'm gonna fold it up, just like this. Okay, so you can really see that quarter inch area. I'm gonna grab my square, my background square, and I'm gonna give myself a quarter inch square guide mark right in the tippy, toppy corner, okay? really clear no mistaking it i want to have all the corners all of it very very obvious okay can you see that should i zoom in i should zoom in why not there it is okay now this is i don't know a little bit tricky maybe not i don't know <laughs> uh line up you're gonna be sewing a quarter, you're gonna make sure to hit this quarter inch area right here, This just this box corner, I guess. You're gonna line up your edges, okay? So the edge of this with the edge of that. To double check that you're in line, you can fold it back right at that corner. Fold it back and then make sure that this is in line. Okay, so we see, look. I can see that that's in line really nicely because that's gonna be my next seam. So that's a nice way before you get to your sewing machine to double check yourself. Okay, so do you see that right at the corner? Just to double check, just so there's no confusion. Right at this little corner, I'm lining up my edge and then I'm gonna start sewing at this square corner, okay? So I'm gonna take it to my sewing machine, backstitch right here and then continue on with my quarter inch seam all the way down. Okay, so now we have this situation, which feels a little bit, I don't know, concerning. Like, is this gonna work? I don't know. Um, it is. Uh, the next move is to fold it over this way, okay? And we're just gonna let this fabric kind of fall where it wants to. Um, okay, here, I'm gonna zoom in. Okay, the tip of that square is gonna face, gonna line up with the tip that 45 degree angle. And then once again, we're gonna start right at that corner, right where you see, let's see, can we get, can we get even closer? Okay, so I'm gonna start right here, backstitch right there. I'm not gonna try to intersect, but just start right at that same little spot and then do my quarter inch seam. Okay, but I am gonna do some pinning because that's gonna help me out quite a bit at the sewing machine. So I'm gonna sew this and then we're gonna come back. We're gonna reveal it together. Okay, here we are at my sewing machine. I'm gonna start actually on this edge because that's just kind of how it happened. Um, I'm gonna end with my back stitch. Okay, so here I am lining things up. Oh. Okay, here I am lining things up. All right, we're getting to our square. Oh, you can see it right in the corner. Exciting. It's easy to kind of forget, like, oh yeah, I have to stop, I have to backstitch. 
Okay, I'm just gonna really pay attention here. Now I'm stitching, just so you know, with my needle down. That's really important when you're doing all this precise back stitching. And I'm actually sewing with my stitch length at two. I just think that's easier for back stitching precisely because it's a smaller stitch. Okay, here we go. in there. Okay, back and forward. Okay, get a cut. All right, how'd we do? I think pretty good. And pretty good is good enough for me. And you know what? Even if it's just okay and not pretty good, I think your quilt is still going to look fantastic.